Welcome to my home filming setup. I just finished a huge, 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 huge project where I filmed over 70, maybe 80 videos completely alone at this very desk with this very setup. So I wanna show you how I did it, what equipment I used, and how you can do this as well. Before we dive into the details, I wanna show you just how easy it is to use. First, I just turn on my two lights and my microphone. Then sitting at my desk, I pull up an app on my computer that controls my camera, and I connect my keyboard to my iPad using Bluetooth. Then all I have to do is press record on my computer and hit the space bar on my keyboard to start the script. That is it, it is truly so simple. So now that you see kind of how it works in action, let's dive into how it all works together and what you'll need to do this. If you are filming on your own, there is no if, ands, or buts about it. You are going to need a camera and a tripod. I'm using the Sony a6400 and the 35 millimeter f1.8 lens. I personally love this combo and the look it gives, but if you want a more kind of like personal or casual look, you can also use a wide angle lens like this. This is actually what I use for my YouTube videos, but because this project was for a course, I wanted something a little more professional and I went with the 35 millimeter. Plus, a wide angle lens might not work well with the next item that I'm suggesting, so just keep that in mind. Here's what each one looks like. 35 millimeter, 16 millimeter. <laughs> okay, once you've picked your lens to connect your camera to your computer, you will need a special cord. Most photographers use these orange tether cords, and that's what I have because I also got it for photography. I'm sure you can use others too. All you have to do is plug the cord into your camera and then into your computer. Super, super simple. You do need to make sure that you get the correct cord. So Tether Tools has a tool on their website that you can use to figure out the correct cord for your camera and computer. Just make sure you get the right one. Then once it's plugged into your computer, you can pull up a remote app. I'm a Sony user, so I'm using the Imaging Edge remote. Using this, I can change my camera settings, my focus point, and press record all at my desk without getting up and going back and forth to the camera, which saves me so much time. Okay, this next thing is probably the best part of this setup, and I could not have done this without it. Since I needed to record super long scripts with exact wording, there was no way that I could memorize and recite them and still get a large amount done. So instead, I purchased this small teleprompter rig and used my iPad as a teleprompter. All you have to do is mount the teleprompter on your tripod, then you place your iPad in the front and your camera at the back. It works by the iPad reflecting onto the mirror at the front so you can read your script while filming, just like I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's also really easy to rewind or jump around in the script using a Bluetooth device I use my little keyboard to control the script while I'm actually talking. There's truly no way I could have done this without this setup. You'll also need to buy a teleprompter app for your iPad. I ended up using this app. I also saw this other app recommended a lot because of its like voice tracking feature, but I ended up returning it because it actually didn't work well for me. So this other app is a little more basic, but it is simple and easy to use. The next two things are often overlooked for beginners, but I do think they make a huge difference in the quality of your videos. So if you're just starting out, you can probably skip these, but I would really encourage you to invest in them because they really, really bring up the quality. So if you want people to listen to what you're saying and to understand you clearly, you'll need a good mic setup. Right now, I am just using my desk mic because it's very, very simple, but for my actual course videos, I decided to mount my camera onto a C-stand so that it is out of the way and I can talk freely. You could also use like a desk mic or a lavalier, but as you can see, I like to talk with my hands and sometimes I will hit the microphone and messes up the audio. And sometimes I just don't like the way it looks on camera. But no matter what mic you use, just make sure that it's within a few feet of you for the best audio quality. I used a shotgun vlogging mic, so I just put it on a C-stand and then attached it to a small tripod, wrapped that around the C-stand, pointed it at me and voila. 
If you're using a desk mic, just put it on your desk or a lavalier you just clip to your clothes. It's really simple. No matter what option you choose, just use what's easiest for you because any microphone will be better than the in-camera mic. Okay, you may be surprised to see me put lighting last in this video, but that's because I think it's probably the least important compared to the other things that I've already mentioned. There's always natural light that you can use, but I decided to use artificial light for this project for a very specific reason. When you're filming multiple videos, artificial lighting like this allows you to film at any time of day and maintain a consistent look between all of your videos. So if you need to go back and reshoot a portion, you don't have to worry about shooting at the exact time of day. All you have to do is match your outfit. So while I love natural light and I use that for a lot of my videos, for this project it just didn't make sense because of the sheer quantity of videos I was making. So this lighting setup is very, very simple. It's just two lights. There's one larger video light with a soft box and one smaller LED panel to the side of my desk to lighten and brighten the background. You can also change the color on this to give a different ambiance like I did in this other video. When you're finding the placement for the biggest light, just bring it as close to you as possible without it being seen by the camera. And I kind of put it at a 45 degree angle. That's it. <laughs> when I moved, I did try a magic lantern, but I found that I prefer the look of the soft box and it's really, really easy to use. So I know, I know I've just hit you with a ton of information and I'm sure this seems very complicated right now, but after the initial setup, this is really, really easy to use. All you have to do is turn on your equipment, your lights and your microphone, press record on your computer and you're ready to go. If you'd like more information about the settings I use for every device, I'm going to put that in the description as well as links for all of the products that I'm using. And if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!